hi guys so welcome back to my channel today's video is another talk video this is gonna be how to learn to love your pregnant body just to add on this i think that day that i was filming this video i could not quite express what i really wanted to express just a disclaimer at this point that i'm, I'm not the most suitable to, to to tell you how to love your pregnancy and I feel that I'm not in a position to do that because this pregnancy has been quite good for me. I'd, I did not get stretch marks. I was not vomiting. I did not get nauseous and all this and all this stuff. So I feel that it's not fair for me to be talking about loving my pregnancy when I had it so easy. By saying that doesn't mean that uh, I just have it easy all the time to be honest. I get through emotional roller coasters and some days are difficult than others. Some you know pregnancy can be can feel really lonely and that's something that uh, people don't really talk about. It's not because people around you do not care. it's just it's just how it feels at times. But that's not necessarily true because you have as much support as as you want when you're pregnant i'm i'm nearly a month away from giving birth and shit gets real because it's 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 not you just feel like you just feel uncomfortable all the time you know sometimes even wearing your jacket it just annoys you putting my socks on is 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 a mission and the, all, all these little things so I, I get where you're coming from just because I didn't get stretch marks and I didn't get um, I did not get nauseous and all that that doesn't mean that I have it easy all the time so I just wanted to, to, to disclose that and just talk to you as a friend it's not me trying to tell you what to do and to, to love your pregnancy if you don't love it you don't love it if you if you cannot wait to give birth i understand that and no one would judge you i know how it feels like because i'm in that stage that i can't wait to actually give birth and just feel normal again it's very difficult sometimes to actually love your pregnant body and in general to, to love your pregnancy because you are going through so much so before i start please like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video with with your friends or if you know someone that could get help from it please share this video with them so tip number one on how to learn to love your pregnancy body is to change your mindset and realize that your body is doing an amazing job of growing another human being how cool is that and we women we are so lucky to be able to to actually do that we are so blessed so when you feel a bit discouraged just remember that your body is doing an amazing job that is why you you're having all these symptoms and this is why you go through so much your hormones are changing so just remember the amazing job your body is doing so tip number two stop comparing your body with other pregnant women you need to stop comparing to everyone else and anything else and stop scrolling through social media i i spoke about it on my previous video as well and I'm gonna say again stop scrolling through social media stop looking at this woman who still be exercising and have this energy to do all that don't compare yourself to them maybe they are not having the same symptoms that you having I wanted to add that just because other women don't have stretch marks and and cellulite and all these kind of things that doesn't mean they're doing they're doing pregnancy in a better way or that trying to portray things in a perfect way you know on social media they, they're trying to show you that they live the perfect life or have the the best pregnancy have the 
perfect pregnancy i'm not you know i'm not like you I, i'm not getting stretch marks because i'm doing things right no no don't do that don't compare yourself to them you don't you don't see their struggle they just show the positive side of it don't be deceived by what you see on social media i don't always follow their advice when they talk about oh, how to avoid getting stretch marks and how to avoid this and how to avoid that they are not your doctor don't listen to them they are no better than you and i want you to realize that and stop comparing yourself to them because that that can make you feel very low and i i catch myself doing that i i look at all these women i'm like oh look at them they have the perfect body they have the perfect belly they don't get stretch marks or they eat healthy look at me I'm, I'm, I'm only craving all this bad food and look at them they they're trying to nourish their baby with healthy eating no they show that they're eating healthy but that doesn't mean they eat healthy all the time you don't see that you don't see the negative because they choose not to show it so don't be deceived tip number three self-care we I mentioned that before and I'm gonna repeat it here I know I'm repeating myself but all of these are very important don't forget to take care of yourself rest well this is a time that you need to rest I'm saying that to myself because I, I can never relax so leave the housework just leave everything and go and rest if you feel like you have to rest baths um wear nice makeup wear clothes that you like that'll make you feel confident and care about your what you eat your skin your your skincare just do all of that since i became pregnant i felt that i became more motivated to wear nicer clothes to care about my skin more i don't know why but I think that's the time i really need to invest myself that's the time i really need to feel beautiful because i know pregnancy can be difficult so yeah exercise as well if you can and do something that you enjoy doing and yeah care about your your well-being and your mental health tip number four educate yourself read as much as you can about your pregnancy do your research when you start reading and educating yourself then you're gonna realize why your body is acting this way and by understanding all of that then you're gonna start appreciating your body even more the more you read the more you will realize how beautiful pregnancy is it's, it's like a miracle it's a blessing so keep educating yourself get fascinated get excited about your pregnancy tip number five take it easy if you are feeling overwhelmed take a break that's the time that everything will stress you out everything will just make you tearful and emotional I get that sometimes I feel much more sensitive than I used to be I'm already a sensitive person so you can imagine so stop overthinking take a break take a break from everything if you're feeling overwhelmed if you're feeling that you're not beautiful if you're just feeling like crap inside you just rest calm your mind pray take a walk do things that will distract you and calm you down listen to some music take deep breaths sometimes we forget to, to breathe properly by breathing properly you you kind of take your time and then you allow yourself to calm down and also when you get the time when when you get a chance to rest you we'll start feeling your baby as well that's when i feel the baby moving the most when i you know when i rest if you're feeling that you are going through rough time that you are not loving your body or yourself in general just sit down have a rest 
and you start feeling your baby and then you kind of realize the miracle that you're growing inside you is it's just beautiful Pre pregnancy is beautiful the baby is there to remind you at all times that you're doing an amazing job and don't be too harsh on yourself pregnancy is beautiful and also talk to your baby that 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 is another way to calm you down and talking about that i want to add another tip tip number six care about your baby more than you care about yourself by saying that take your time to prepare your, the nursery or buy the clothes just prepare things for the baby and just focus on someone else and your baby this way you will you will forget for a minute about your anxieties and your fears and all these negative feelings by doing that by caring for someone else you will see the bigger picture you will realize that you know I'm good and I'm strong enough to care about someone else that means I'm I'm okay and I will be okay caring about someone else and actually acting on it it's quite of therapeutic as well you will you will find yourself feeling much better and much more motivated you feel that you are you know you are doing something good so yeah care about your baby care about the people around you and you will be fine so that was the video for today make sure you go and watch my uh, previous video on how to learn to love your curves and don't forget to subscribe to my channel support me like this video i hope i helped you in some way and and yeah hopefully i will see you next time bye for now bye bye